Hi, and welcome to another episode of Azure Perfume Quick Start. Today, I would like to show you what that data map and how a registration of sources to scan your metadata and put it into the data catalog looks like. Where is the data map and everything related? Just to recap, that's the overall architecture of Azure Purview, data sources, scanners, classifications, data catalog, and so on. Today, I would like to focus on the scanners and especially sources that are available to get the data out of your source systems. And we have to talk about the data map, the structure of the data map, how you can structure your data sources within your uh, data map within your Perfume account. And with that, well, let's dive over and head over to the Perfume Studio. It's a complete empty Perfume account. So no sources are registered, no assets are uh, available, no glossary terms. So completely empty environment. And what we need to do is, well, we need to start and switch over to the data map which is located over here. And that menu changed a little bit in August 2021 because there was more power given to the collections. And what, what is a collection? Well, a collection is a logical boundary. A collection is a way of getting a hierarchy within your uh, Perfume account. Before August 2021, it was just a logical boundary. There were no different permissions that could be assigned to uh, collections and so on. With August uh, 21, it started that those collections and they can put in a, be put in a hierarchy. I don't know how many levels, but they can put into uh, can be put into a hierarchy, and that level or every level can have different permissions. As you can see, we can have different role assignments for those collections. And the collections, well, you can create those in order to build some sort of logical boundary and some sort of, I compare it with the data map to those continents of data. In my example, I wanna create some sort of region structure, like I've got the Europe collection and uh, I can add collection admins. So permission sets can be can be added here. If I don't add another user, it's inherited from the um, overall collection, like the Perfume collection, the root collection. I'm going to add a Europe collection. And within that Europe collection, well, we can have a look at the role assignments inherited from the Perfume Wolfi, the account name. And I'm going to add a new sub collection to the Europe, which is the data lakes collection. Going to add that one. And uh, I'm going to add to the Europe another one, which is the databases collection. So what we have now is hierarchy, the root, collection and some sub collections. When we head over to the registration of sources, because we want to connect to uh, outside systems. And there is there are two, two different ways of how you can view your sources. It's the table view, which is, well, empty as of now, no sources registered. On the other side, if I move to the map view, what I can have a look at, well, it's the logical structure. It's the map view. It's our continents of data. It's our uh, collections that are grouped somewhere. And we can add sources to those collections, like over here, or it's the register source option. Within those uh, list of registered or available sources, well, there are Azure sources like databases. You can scan your data lake. You can add SQL, uh, Azure SQL databases, MySQL, Postgres, and so on. You can also add some on-premises data sources, including the usage of in 
integration runtime, self-hosted integration runtime, a gateway to connect to a local SQL Server or Oracle. Power BI can be scanned and there are other services and apps like SAP. I'm going to start with uh, SQL Server, not SQL Server, Azure SQL Database. Going to move to that one. I'm going to select uh, a server name over here and I put that one into the databases collection. Be aware, as of today, there is no move of sources available in the new user interface, in the new like uh, sub collections and permission based uh, user interface. And what I, I'm going to add here, and uh, I have to change the name. It's the Azure SQL database. I'm going to add some sort of name. That name cannot be changed afterwards. So register that one. And the collection databases gets a new member. It's the Azure SQL database. And register another one, a data lake. Data lake storage account generation two. Gonna take that one and put it into the data lakes. Register that one. And what we've done now, well, we've registered sources and those sources within Perfue, they are comparable to a connection stream. No, not, not directly to a connection stream because at that moment we haven't added some sort of information like credentials. It's just the name of the source. So what we added are two definition of sources. And in one of the next videos, we are gonna see how the metadata can be read out of those systems and get into Perfume. Because there is another thing needed, which is called a scan definition. Sources, that's the list of available sources over there. And as you can see, well, mm, I've not properly named my Azure storage account um, source. Gonna delete that one in the next video, it will be fine. So sources are just the collection or the connection information. And for the collection, the data map, well, the collections are there to group sources into a logical boundary to group it region-wise, to group it technology-wise, to group it system-wise or whatever. And you can add a permission level. We will have a look at permissions later on, but data source administrators or just data readers. That is really, really important and really necessary to have one single version of a data catalog. And sources, if you register a source in Perfue, you give it a name. You assign it to a collection and very, very important, no credentials needed at that step. There is no metadata, no import and no scan of the sources at that moment. We need a scan definition for that. Yeah, and with that, that's the end of today's video. You've seen a first look at the data map, the collections that allow you to bring some structure into your data sources and how you can register data sources in Azure Perfume. With that, happy that you took the time to watch the videos. My name is Wolfgang. See you next time and happy data cataloging.